The continuous leakage from sewage pipes at Nikibata and Ido streets and a Golo crash at Gero Stage 2 had been addressed by individual homes nearby. But now the communities are speaking up about the lack of attention by the authorities. Allow it to go as a norm, but now it's not a normal uh, thing to be accepted. It has become a common sight to see leakages in the sewage system around this area and is happening frequently. For long-time resident Nicholas Natera and his family, cleaning up their backyard every two months after a blockage has become an unacceptable norm. But over the years, the family has become weary of cleaning up human waste. Recently, a blockage resulted in a backflow of human waste pouring into the Natera's residence. During the evenings when people come home, they flush. The smell comes up and we all go to one corner and close all the windows and spray so that it keeps the smell down and we try our best to eat. But then that smell is always inside and outside. So it's affecting us. The mess has left the family frustrated over the delay in authorities responding to this health hazard. There's blockage around the other houses. They all come here and that when big blockage, this is what happens. And it's health hazard, health hazard to my family and the surrounding areas around there. So we're pleading to the run or those in authority, please come and fix this. Because now it's becoming a breeding place for mosquitoes too. In Port Mosby, Adarano is responsible to clear up such blockages and have yet to respond. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.